Hello, chess friends. Good morning. This is the Fidel Master Alessandro Santagati, and uh, I'm going to do a one hour of training uh, on the chess. Um, I think do the training every day is useful, especially uh, tactical training is very useful to improve in chess, to have um, the mindset, I think. So, okay, let's go to, um, to start the training on the chess. There is a very interesting tool here. And we can start with this nice position, which is black to play. Okay, so here, what can I do? Okay. Black to play. In the meantime, I open the chart and this way if you want to write me something, I can see. And okay, so we are ready to start. Very well, so we have this position black to play. The first important thing to do is uh, pay attention about the material. Very important, see if you are up a piece, if you are down a piece to understand uh, what's the best solution. For example, here we have the same number of pieces and uh, black has seven pawns, but white has eight pawns. So at the moment, white is up a pawn because white took this pawn on h6 and in theory, I could win a piece playing knight takes h6. So the first question is, what's the problem if I take the bishop? Probably if I take the bishop immediately, there is f6. And, and I must understand if I can defend because the idea, the white idea is play f6 queen queen g5 and mate and exploiting also the pin of the pawn f because if I play g6 the pin can simply take the pawn on g6. So this position is a little complicated so <clears throat> if I take with the pawn why do we attack the knight first? But then my knight can go back, and it looks playable, right? If I take with the pawn, maybe f6 again. But then queen d6, and after queen d6, uh, I can uh, attack the pawn and threaten d4. Mm, it's a, uh, it's interesting. Okay, I have to understand what's the best choice. Okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, let's calculate the variation. So take with the pawn, f6, queen d6. If queen e2, I take the pawn. If it, if she trade the pawn, and the white has no way to defend um, the uh, the pawn on f6, so I think take with the pawn is better. And I go back with the knight. 
Wow, I solved the problem. Very good. That's very nice. Okay, I think I, I made again a mistake with the. Um, oh no, maybe not. Okay, um, now on. Very well. And um, okay, we can go forward. So I solve the first position. I was say that I'll try myself today one hour. And um, okay, we can go forward with the next. And now black to play in this position. All right, what to do now? Mm, about the material, white is up on exchange, rook against knight, but have a lot of pawns, one pawn up, but my pawns are very strong in the end game. Sometimes white is very Mm, dangerous because uh, white is threatening d5, so there are a lot of threats. Okay, um, let's find a solution. The queen has to defend the rook, so the two pieces are connected. Probably in a bullet game, my first idea was play c3 to, to display the ticking of the pawns. But let's see if it can work. Okay, the question is that if I play c3, what white can do? Maybe bishop takes d5. C3, bishop takes d5. Yeah, both up a ladder. Bishop takes d5, check. Rook takes d5. Queen e4, check. Queen e4, check. But looks this winning for me, I think, because. It looks winning for me because uh, I don't see how I can stop my pawns. Okay, so C3 looks a good idea. Let's see if maybe there are other problems, other moves that he can try to play to block my pawns. Another idea could be attack the queen. For example, bishop not yet now because there is the knight on the eight. So maybe bishop e6. But I think bishop e6 is not so useful because there is bishop takes d5. And at the hand, uh, it's not a good solution for me. Okay, so C3. To be honest, I, I think C3 should be the best. So C3, why to play? What do I can do? I don't see a good option for white. Maybe white can take the pawn. I'll take back. Rook take it back on e on d5 and queen e4 check. It's check, so I attack the king. And okay, the king can go somewhere, maybe h2 for example. And then c2, and then I don't see why why don't win. <laughs> How can white mate me? I don't know. There are no checks, maybe g6, but I can also take the pawn. Okay, th this position is um, is complicated, but I think c3 is the move. Oh, it took with the rook, yeah. To be honest, I didn't see this option because it could take with the rook. That's nice. Maybe it's more dangerous. Mm. And if I take the rook, bishop takes, then king. It's eight, but no checks in the dark squares, right? So maybe I can simply take the rook. I think. Oh yes, yes, perfect. I solved the third, the problem. The second problem, I solved. Very good. Okay. 
let's go forward continue with the training and now i have this position why to play okay what to do two four five three five six black at the moment is up a pawn, but i can take back the pawn on f5 and uh, okay the same material but black has a bad king on d7 so i think it can exploit it in this position and i'll exploit it f7 is protected by the knight okay what can we do Oh, my rating is now over 2300, so very good. GF5, GF5. Okay, to be honest, my first idea is play G take F5 to take back the pawn. And sometimes this move looks useful to attack the king, so GF5 looks nice. Okay, we must consider the sacrifice. Knight takes, for example. That is complicated, so. And I think maybe black can defend because the black king, king, the black king can go in the queen side, and looks hard for me. Continue a good attack. So probably this the easier move is also the best now g5. But then he can play queen d4. Then I take, and uh, if and then he can take it back so. Yes, it looks a very strong attack for me. G takes f5. Why not? Okay. When I have this kind of position, I'm a little scared because uh, the solution looks easy. So I said, okay, if the solution looks easy, maybe there is a problem, but maybe there is something better. This often happens when you do exercise. Yeah, only chess. Okay, but why not g takes f5? Oh, yes, I have also other ideas because there is also this idea to see knight h5. But maybe it's not so useful because also if I can play knight f6, the king can go maybe c8. And uh, I don't have um, some move to because I'm in the in I think um, in, in this position the priority is uh destroy the pawn structure so destroy the structure to open the position then attack with the pieces so for me it's better now play gf5 i think okay so the first move is correct let's see the second okay my idea was uh, open the position so my first display f takes e6 F takes e6, and then what would happen? And then you can be bishop h3. I'm not sure about the second move. Because my first idea was F takes e6. And bishop h3. Okay, let's see. F takes e6. F takes e6. Can I play rook f8? If check, I could cover with the. Or maybe f takes e6, f takes e6, queen e7. Not sure. 
because now it's very important the move order so it's very important to pay attention about that was the right move order to follow he'll play f takes e6 f takes e6 bishop h3 if queen b4 maybe rook f8 but then check Mm -hmm. Not easy. It's not easy because then the king can have some problems if I move my pieces away. But in all the variation, I think F takes C six looks the best. So I take it. And then how to continue and here queen is seven I defend the pawn and then I attack the pawn is six Knight f5 to play knight d6, but it will take queen f5, and I think the sacrifice is not enough good. So maybe bishop h3 to play knight f5. Is bishop h3 and then knight f5? Mm. So bishop h3? No, it's wrong. Mm, let's pay attention. So, what's that? Okay, so what to do now? Instead of bishop h3, uh, maybe. Ninety two now. Maybe it's interesting rook f7. You should take. Take. But queen e4. Queen e6. I don't think the sacrifice is uh, enough. Are you okay, Faith? No, that's not work. I don't know what's the solution. <laughs> okay, so manage fine. Maybe the sacrifice, I don't know, like a five, he takes a five. Okay, let's start with the sacrifice. So knight f5, oh yeah, you must take, so queen f5. After queen f5, where the king can go? If b7, I think a queen d7 check is good for me. Because then I have rook b1 check. So he can move king b7, so he must move king c7. And that's clear. After king c7, I can play queen back on h7. And the king can go to not c8 because there is bishop h3 and mate. So the king has to go where? Uh, 
C6, I think. Looks the only move. And then, And then how to continue? Wait, wait, I mean after king c7, so knight f5, e5, queen f5, king c7, maybe bishop h3 to mate here or to, to bring the queen here. If bishop c6. We have check on h7 and king b7 or rook b1, but then king a8. I don't know to be honest because I think black can defend. Let's see if the solution. Yes, I miscalculated something. Uh, okay, so 96 in this case. Okay, this case is easy, I think. In this case, should be easy because I could take this change and I think it's enough or maybe I can attack the knight. Rook d7, queen here, bishop c6, he can defend all. So maybe I, can I take. Okay, so I made a mistake in this exercise because yes, I saw that a solution could be knight f5 but to be honest, uh, I didn't calculate well what happened after knight f5 because to be honest, I thought that after knight f5 it could take. What did I? Okay, queen f5, I saw it, king c7. And now queen h7, okay, king c6. Oh, I didn't see queen a7. Or also queen g6 could be okay. Yes, because I was thinking this, but this is not good. Yeah. In a7, I missed this move. Now the rook is under attack for rook c6, rook f6, and the game is over. Incredible. Okay, very, very nice exercise. Okay. So. My takes me four. And um, what to do? Why to play? In this position, the material is black is upon up. But there are a lot of attacks against the species. My queen is under attack. Let's see what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first idea is to the queen. Queen, the queen takes e seven. What happens if I play queen takes e seven? I think that's a good question. So if queen e seven, the Ravan checks, so he should play rook takes e seven. And bishop takes c7. If bishop takes f3, g f3. Hmm. Well, it looks good. So if I play queen takes c7, you must take the queen. And then I can play bishop takes c5. If he takes with the rook, I take with the knight. And then Rocky one, and I think this position is good for me. If it takes the knight on f3, I have g takes f3, and uh, okay, so let's say again so queen e7, rook e7, bishop e5, bishop f3, g f3, and now the knight is under attack, so I think I should win a piece. 
if queens and there aren't i think there aren't intermediate because nine c3 doesn't work i think there are uh, there isn't a real threat so okay let's try the queens and not bishop e5 not 95 because if we play 95 there is bishop e2 i think bishop e5 is much better so yes i solved the problem because if this oh wait what happened oh, i made a mistake well, oh that's bad i missed i lost the position oh yes okay i could see again okay so i mean take 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 if this gf train and and white is winning because yes black can take the the, um, the bishop but they can take the, the enemy knight so it's perfect for me we continue the training black to play here three pawns okay white has a lot of pawns here white is up two pawns but we have a nice attack in this file in the h file <sighs> but the king can escape from e2. It's very interesting because the rook on c1 is defended by the queen, and my bishop can be useful to avoid e2. So bishop a6 uh, is my first idea, because with bishop a6 I pin the queen, but it's not easy to calculate what will happen later. Okay, sure. If I play bishop a6 and bishop takes, okay, I take the queen, so easy. So he must take my bishop, I think. Then I take the rook. Then king e2. And then, okay, then I want an exchange, but it's not easy because there are a lot of, lots of pawns for white. King e2. How can I continue after king e2? Maybe queen uh, b2 check. Okay, if king f1, I work h1 and I win, so you should play king e3, not king e3 because there is the fork. So king e3 is forced. And after king e3, what can I play? I can play. Mm. Okay, let's see if there are other ideas because yes, I think bishop h3, bishop sorry, bishop a6 looks very good for me, but not sure i'm not sure about that rook a8 i think doesn't work because there's bishop takes c6 and i have another idea but maybe it doesn't work my other idea is play queen c1 first queen x and then <clears throat> rook and then rook h1 because in this way, after king one, I won a rook and I win the game. And if he doesn't like it, he should play knight g1. And then bishop a6 now is very strong. And then king e1 take, and after king d2, I can trade the rooks and then, and then piss up. So yes, I found the right solution, I think. The right solution is play first queen takes c1 and not bishop a6 so if i play queen c1 i should win very good i found the solution i'm very happy with it bishop a6 and then i take and then we can simply go in the end game black is a piece up so i should win very nice solution very nice exercise i like it and okay move on we can see another position so now why to play we have four pawns, black has five pawns, and okay, so but 
Okay, at the moment, black is up upon by queens under attack. Where can I move my queen? And the bishop c4 is defended by the queen. The rook on d8 is undefended. So the first idea could be e7 or c7, I think, to attack the, the rook. And, but maybe c7 looks better because um, I have another interesting threat here, knight d2. So if my queen is on c7, I attack the rook. If maybe rook a8, I have knight d2 and I have a double attack. Queen and bishop. So should be winning, maybe. Yes, I think so. So queen c7 looks very strong for me. Because I have a simple attack, the rook is under attack. And the, f the question is, how can black defend the rook? He can move the rook because he lose the knight. So after queen c7, I think the only move is defend the rook with the rook a8. And then I play knight d2 and I have double attack. And how can black defend? Because if rook c8, can simply take the rook with check or take the yes and and then take the queen so i think it should be an easy victory after that okay let's see if i'm right so queen c7 or rook e8 but i win the knight right so let's take the knight oh yes is a solution so one is lead the knight okay so Let's go to the next. And now, why to play? No, there are. There is a pin, G file, and okay. At the moment, black is up a pawn. The rook is under attack, but the G pawn is pinned. So. <sighs> Looks complicated. <sighs> Oh, I, I also, I can see now this, so F6 looks interesting. Chin, Rook and, and King of the Sun Diagonal, so it looks an interesting idea. All right, so what happened if I play F6? If my takes F6, I have Bishop F5, and I, I win the Rook, I think. So after F6, Maybe knight f4, but I take the knight first and then bishop f5 again. Okay, f5, f6 looks the winning move for me. Maybe after f6, okay, knight g3, but... Oh wait, let's see this, f6, knight g3. Hmm, very nice idea. Because with knight g3, black is running a mate. Sometimes if I take the rook with the pawn, there is knight takes c4 check, and then rook g2. Yes, but then I think the enemy attack is finished and I won the exchange in this way. So I think it's still good for me. So f6, knight g3. I simply take the rook. He takes. Rook g2, take, take. And the bishop is under attack, so he must play knight f6, but I won't exchange, so 
I can be happy about that. So I should. Um, I think I found the solution. F six. Okay, you play this, but I win the piece, right? Why not? Okay, the access continue. Um, my first is take it to simplify, but maybe I lose a good defender of the pawn G2. So it's the other. Maybe we should have five anyway. Never reach one. Because black and friend this is dangerous. Black is friendly to make me. Okay, it's, it's complicated now. So black is running queen h4 to main me on h1. Okay, maybe bishop f5 to lock the rook. It's wrong because it was the correct solution. Bishop H7 doesn't work because there is Queen H4, I think. So, take the knight, I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe take the knight and then Queen H4. But no, because then there is nine g three and mate and queen under attack. So what to do? Rook f3 to trade some of the way to trade the rook. Rook f3, rook h4. I think so. Yes, rook f3 to simplify and defend the position. Let's see what happens if bishop f5. Yes, rook h4, and then not easy. It's not easy because black has a lot of interesting moves to, to attack. It's very important to play rook f3 to defend. Okay, very well, nice exercise, very hard, but very interesting. Okay, I do a little brag because I completed my first half hour of training and I'll do a little brag of five minutes. Uh, be right back in five minutes to continue with this training, another half hour, um, to, com to complete the um, morning training. Okay, see you later.
Okay, I'm back now, and we are ready to continue the training. But before to start the training, what's your rating? Only chance um, training. Only chance. Can you answer my question? Okay, if someone wants, can write in the chat. And in the meantime, we continue with the training. And we have another 20 minutes of training today. And, um, okay. So, okay, so I have the new position. I didn't see it very well. To be honest, I think I saw this position before. So maybe it could help me. Because I see the queen is under, is attacking the rook. But the knight is trapped, so he's under attack, and it's very hard to defend this knight. If I remember well, I just solved this problem with rook g2, I think. And then he has to play queen g6. And then... And then I don't remember. Okay, then I don't remember. No, maybe not. Maybe it's not the correct solution. So rook g2, queen g6. Oh yes, bishop takes h5, queen h5, and g6. So this is my solution to open the position against the enemy king. So rook g2, queen g6, bishop h5, queen g5, and g6. And I think he's forced to take. It is correct. Okay, let's see. Who did you do? Oh, you didn't play it. Okay, in this way I win the piece without problems. And but let's see that the variation. Let's see that the variation with the rook g2, queen g6, and bishop h5. Okay, yes, I'm right. Take and g6. Yes, yes, okay. I remember well. Yeah, and now it's winning because the position is completely open. So, but why I lost six points? Ah, okay, it didn't give me the rating for that. Okay, I understand. Maybe because I completely didn't. Okay, so I'd like to play. What to do? Mm. Black to play. Okay, white is up an exchange, but my pawn is very dangerous. I'm going to take a new queen. And uh, have some good moves, like, for example, queen g3. Playing for checkmate. Queen check. If I play queen g3, the question is how can you avoid the checkmate? Maybe check on d2, king g7, check on d7. There is that proposal check to consider because it could play for perpetual check. So, how can I promote the pawn? And a simple idea can be this, right? I'm not clear. What's the problem about that? Not checks for white. Another idea trade the queen can be okay, maybe not because take take check, king h1, I take the pawn, and then you should play this, and bishop d4. 
But I'm, I don't think it's winning for me. Oh, there is a lot of noise to be outside. Okay, so what to do? Queen. Oh, maybe, maybe I have an idea. Bishop d4, check, king h1, and then queen d3. And then I think it's good because no checks for white. The rook is under attack and I'm threatening to promote. So it should be winning, I think. No way to avoid the, the checks. So I have a um, message um, from from King Jade, and uh, he wrote, "Why not Queen E three check King H one Queen C one?" Okay, yeah. My idea is play bishop d4 and then queen d3, but he said, um, not me, but king g8. King g8 said, king g8 is the name um, of the player. He wrote, why not? He said, why not check king h1 and the queen c1? Yeah, it looks good. Mm, maybe queen d3 to defend the rook and the promotion. Yes, maybe there is queen d3 with your solution, I think. In the three and not clear, right? So for this reason, probably it's not good. Okay, let's see my solution. Let's see if my solution is correct. I'm not sure. Oh, it's wrong. Incredible. Why is wrong? And let's see the oh, solution is good. No, queen c one is wrong. Maybe. Oh yes, now maybe queen g three. Maybe now queen g three. Oh no. Queen here. <laughs> I'm playing all the moves <laughs> for this exercise. That's not a good thing to do, but we need to. I'm not sure. Oh, Queen F4, maybe. Queen F4. In this way, I can attack the rook. If you take check, and it's winning, I think. Queen f4. Wow, incredible solution. Nice exercise. And um, it's so. Okay, let's say again why my solution is wrong, because to be honest, I didn't understand. So, okay, let's see. Okay, I was thinking about bishop before. King here. Queen d3. Oh yeah, there is the check on f6. <laughs> yes, I missed this important information. The change all. So okay, so we wrong the solution. Hall and queen f4 was the key to to solve this position. Okay, so let's go to see to the next one. Okay, so another game, very nice. I like I like that game. So Apollo Carl Bishop and game very nice. Four pawns against four. Should I play for a win in this game? I don't know. How can I play for a win? The oh, okay, usually if you play the an opposite core bishop and game, the only way to try to win is uh, have a pass pawn. So the only move that black can do to in order to try to win the game is a5. But then we must calculate what can happen after a5. After a5, okay, white has to take b a5. And then, then I have to think if I can take first the pawn and push or push immediately. Because if I push immediately, a6. Push? No, sorry, sorry. If I push, white is uh, black is winning. So, if a five, b a five, b four. I think white has to take with the bishop. King e four, a six, and then king here. 
in here. If I defend a seven, I take a eight. I take. She has should be it should be winning. Yes, I think a five is the solution. So a five. Um, now I think before the move is the correct move because if I take the pawn, I think I don't have enough time to support this pawn before. I'm right or not? Let's see. Because if I take king here, and bishop here, king there, and and the push, but king there, and now I, I lost the pawn. And when I play b3, there is bishop a3, and uh, he can defend, I think. So I think I have to push immediately. Yes, that's very important. Very important. Move order, and now I take the bishop have to take, and yeah, now I, I, I saw the problem, but it's very nice to see the end of the game, because I calculated that, okay, could play this, and then and, then, and now I have to defend very well. Now I push, I saw this, knocking here, I saw this, king takes, I saw this, queen, but I take. And the other hand, I won the game because I can't take this pawn and I can sacrifice my bishop for the last pawn of, um, of white. And okay, now it's easy winning. So very nice game about opposite color bishop. To be honest, not so hard because if you know the, the theory about this kind of a game, it's not so hard to understand that after e5, you can go to win. Um, but yes. A5, very, very interesting way. Okay, so I've, we have time to do another exercise. So, king f7, and what to do? Why to play? Okay, again, we have the same number of pieces, but there, are, there is a very good. Okay, rook takes c6, maybe is the simple move. Because then there is 95 and I win the and I win the piece, but it's so easy. Why this exercise is so easy? <laughs> okay, but I think it's the solution. So okay, let's take and then I take. Okay, yes, very easy exercise. Sometimes there are art positions. Sometimes very easy, but it's good. It's okay. And now black to play. It looks more complicated. Mm. Oh, I have a nice idea now. My idea is to take the bishop on c2, allow queen takes, and then king h7. Because after that, I'm attacking the rook and threatening the discovery attack. So he has no way to defend both, right? Should be okay. Okay, let's review to be sure about the solution. So I take the bishop. Black white has to take the rook. King h7. Okay, queen d7 there is to defend the rook, yes. I to be honest, I didn't see it. I didn't see, yes, so he defend the rook. And if I play well, maybe it doesn't work. Okay, but my rook is under attack, and the enemy bishop is under attack. And what that if I play rook eight? I take the bishop on e seven, and I take the bishop on c two. Can be. Can be the solution. I think so. Rook eight. Rook d two now is preparing a discovery attack. We must understand if this if this discovery attack is dangerous. I don't think so because if bishop e four I can allow it. If bishop somewhere. I can allow, so I think I'll take the, the rook on e7 and after check, okay, maybe eight, so okay, I can do that. 
Yeah, the discard attack is not dangerous because they can simply move the queen down back and they can defend with the king h queen the queen with the king h seven, so not big problems. We continue with the training. And now with this position with h takes g6. Okay, so what can I play? What can I play? It's complicated, white is attacking, mm, but have the bishop under attack, queen has to defend, but sometimes have a nice attack on b3. So the first day, can I sacrifice the knight on b3? Can be this move possible? I don't know. Knight takes b3 or queen d8. So I mean rook d8. So if I play rook d8, the queen has to defend the bishop on h6. So, so queen e3, for example. Or queen f or or queen f4. I'm not sure. Not sure, but it looks good because if I play first rook d8 and then I sacrifice, I'm friending mate immediately on on b2, so it looks better for me. So rook d8. Yes, I think so. So rook d8 first, then I sacrifice on b3, and then I have yes. And what can I do? So, okay, rook b8. It can cover with the knight because there is this attack on h6. So, I think the only move is move the queen away, and then I play knight takes b3, pawn takes b3, queen takes b3, and then friendly knight in uh, one move. And uh, I'm friending also the knight. So, if the if we try to defend, I've always take and take the knight and mate. So, I sh I think so. Let's see if I'm right. Rook d8. Oh, he sacrificed the queen. Okay, okay. So that's correct, and I won. Because the problem is that if he doesn't sacrifice the queen, and if he plays, for example, queen e3, I can sacrifice here. Pawn takes, queen takes b3, and now it's winning for me because I'm friendly mating in one. And if we try to defend in this way, I can take first, queen h6, and uh, mate. Mate. So no way to defend the position. Okay, very nice. Okay, I think we have time for the last position because uh, I know today and training of one hour, uh, exploiting this tall and chess, uh, the training. And uh, I think it's very useful if you want to improve your chess, do tactics, uh, if you can every day or also three days per week, can be good. So, okay, let's do the last exercise of today. Why to play? And um, okay, the queen is under attack. I can see it. The enemy bishop is under attack. So my first idea is check and then take the bishop. So for example, check here and then take the bishop. But let's see if I miss something. Oh yes, I missed it. There is check here. Nice counter play. So if I play check. King G8. I can't take because there is check here. So okay, there is a problem to solve. And um, King G8. If I take the knight, 
queen c4, queen, rook takes e1, queen takes c1. The problem about queen d4 is that after that, my bishop on e2 will be pinned. So, I don't like it. Okay, so what to do here? Why to play? Because I have only two solutions, or I take the knight, or I move the queen. And if I move the queen, I suppose I should play check. Because queen f4 is not so useful for me. Yeah. If I take the knight, what happened? Let's see. So I take, for example. And um, okay, if I take back with the pawn, I could play rook takes e8. And in this way, I can win a piece. Sure. So if I take the knight, a different move, so I should play. Rook takes e1, queen takes e1, and then queen g5 check. But then I have queen d2, and after queen d2, king d2, I want a piece. So I guess I think simply take the knight is a good idea for me, and then take the piece ladder. Okay, let's see. Take. Queen takes. And now, okay, now let's take the piece, right? Because I have queen d2 now, so. I want a piece, very good. And okay, so I solved the last exercise. Um, very good. So I think today I increased also my writing the um, training. Let's take a look about that in my profile. Yes, I won today 56 points in the training. I made um, 18 positions today. Um, so very good. And um, okay, so for today, the training is finished. Thank you for watching. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to write in the comment below and uh, I will be happy to answer you. Okay, thank you again. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.